I'm here with Kevin Clock, CEO and President of Talking Rain Beverage, which distributes Sparkling Ice, the new beverage that has really done incredible in terms of sales. Nice to talk to you here. Yeah, great to be here and join you. And look, we're at a food emporium in Manhattan, but you know this is a battleground, right? It is a battleground for that shelf space. Yeah, New York is, even New York itself is a battleground, uh, even more so within businesses like this that are a real prominent in the city. Uh, every brand wants to be here. This is where brands start in New York City, so it's definitely the toughest, toughest area in the country to fight for shelf space. So how did you muscle in against big companies like Coke and Pepsi to get your beverage into stores and noticed by customers. Early on we recognized that uh, the sparkling water space was really underserved and that two major competitors like Coke and Pepsi didn't even participate. It was mainly in Nestle and private label space. So recognizing that opening, we were able to get in fairly quickly and we kept quiet. We didn't really say much about what we were doing and by the time we got big, it was too late. Everybody. Uh, started coming into space, we were several hundred million dollars by that point. And I know you're hoping to be a billion in sales. Yeah, we, we, we feel we can get there right now if you look at our velocity in food, mass, and drug. If we were to be able to translate that over to convenience and food service, which is a big battleground, um, and be normal percentage in that, we should be a billion dollars. Do you know how quickly you can get there? You know, we've always been saying 2018 uh, at our offices, that's what we continue to focus on. Uh, we're over 600 million now, so we're in shooting range. It's going to be how well we can execute in some very competitive spaces of food service and, and uh, convenience. Is there one particular grocery chain you got into or hope to get into that you think could really make a difference for you? In terms of grocery, we're already there. So we, uh, it's very much at this point in time more so probably convenience as being the biggest one because most companies are 30 to 40 percent convenience if they're in the beverage business and we're eight percent. So if you just take translate that compared to the rest of our business you'd be at a billion pretty rapidly. So we're working, uh, we're doing a national launch with 7-Eleven and as we start we're going to be at a 42 ACV this fall. Uh, so we are starting to make grounds but it's very, very hyper competitive and convenient. And you're not just looking at the U.S. I know, you're looking abroad. Yeah, we actually just launched in the United Kingdom at the beginning of April and the results are amazing. One thing that's very different once we went over saw that market is they have far less choice in the U.S. So it's been wonderful for us to come in there, break in as a new person, and the, the, the results are astounding and how rapidly we're growing and all the retailers are, are adopting it very quickly. So you also have a particular ambassador that I think is making a difference for you, Kevin Duran. Tell me how that came to be. Well, it's interesting. Kevin got asked by uh, Rock Nation what beverage brand did he want to be associated with, and he said, I want to do sparkling ice. He had no idea it was from Seattle, where he originally started with the Sonics. And, um, you know, he came up and we asked him, well, what does he drink other than sparkling ice? He says, I don't drink anything else. And we were concerned, you know, we know nowadays the consumer is pretty smart um, and recognizes authentic versus non-authentic ambassadors. And Kevin just loves the brand. And it's interesting, you know, when we meet with them, we give them business updates. Um, and he just, you know, he'll, he wants to know what's going on. So he likes to hear from us and see us and, and talk to us. And, you know, his, uh, his personality is truly what you see. I mean, he's the same behind the, off the court as he is on the court. What's his favorite flavor? Orange mango was originally his favorite flavor, and so he's kind of, he changes around a little bit more recently, but I know orange mango is kind of, that's why we put the KD on uh, the orange mango. And in terms of you going forward and fending off competition and looking abroad and trying to grow sales, who right now do you think is your biggest competitor? It's truly Coke and Pepsi, because ultimately it's about shelf space. And if you look at the shelf and you see how much space is taken up and uh, where we need to go, we're one of the largest brands probably out there in the smallest amounts of space. And it, it's ultimately a shelf space and distribution competitiveness at this point. And as you look globally, those are truly the two global brands that are out there. And so as we go out, we have to find ways to compete with them outside the U.S. as well. So they're, they're really our competitors. Would you ever join them if you got an offer? You know, I, I could never say yes or no to that answer. I think, you know, we're privately held, and if someone comes with a compelling offer, I owe it to the owners to bring it forth. But, you know, we're having, um, we're having great fun. We're independent. It's been a long time since someone's grown a beverage company independently. Uh, we've been shown our ability to compete. Our owners are excited and having fun, and our employees are having fun because how often do you get a chance to take on two great global brands and take a shot at them? And what you what are you gonna drink when we're done with this interview? Uh, I'm an orange mango. In the, Boy, it's in a the, trend apparently with well, you guys I, named Kevin. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I, orange mango in the morning and I can strawberry lemonade in the afternoon. Kevin Clock, it's been great chatting with you. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you so much.